Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. So in today's video, we're gonna watch Jaden's new Mario video. That's right, Jaden Animations animated a Mario video, which is something I have been dreaming of for years. It's actually not a lie. I think one of the first videos I saw of hers was one of her video game ones. And I was like, man, it'd be so cool if she animated Mario and like her style. I've got Mario here as well. He wants to watch and see how he was depicted in the video. Shoutouts to Sunny Black Media. So without further ado, let's watch this video. Oh, hold up. You already know Mario. I'm not gonna explain him. I'm not gonna explain Mario to you, but a lot of people don't know about a little Mario Excuse community me? that thrives in the depths of the deep, dark Mario crevices. <laughs> I'm talking. Is about that me? Mario Kaizo. Am I one of those cloaked dudes? Mm -hmm. Mario is Kaizo me? is basically <laughs> fan made high difficulty Mario. People will take oh, base games awesome. like Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario that's World awesome. and rearrange the levels to look like this. Hey, that's As me. You can see, a little That's more me. tricky than normal. I've been casually watching Mario What's Maker that? and Mario Kaiser content awesome. for a few years. I just think it's fun to watch while I'm eating cereal in the morning. And then one day I just stood up and was like, <laughs> I want to do it. My favorite Mario <laughs> content creator is Ryukar. So I what? DM'd him asking if he had any Kaizo recommendations. That's me that too. Are, you know, beginner friendly. I mean, I'm naturally gifted at I love that games, picture. But that, that little profile this, this picture. Ma it's Mario Kaizo. I need a beginner little baby card over here. <laughs> Cut me some slack, all right? Ryu asks if I've played any Kaizo I love that before, little picture. I say no. I want that and to be my profile picture for real. I've played any Kaizo levels in Mario Maker before, and I say no. And then he asks if I've ever at least done a show. I, I remember before, this conversation. Go, I've played Hollow Knight. And he goes, <laughs> I don't think that can help you here. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. After a few more messages, so Ryu awesome. generously offers to train me for Kaizo before I jump straight into a complete ROM hack. And oh boy, that was extremely nice of him. And My extremely pleasure. needed. We have to do a Discord call, and as I screen share the I training really room, he was able picture. to give me tips and pointers this of what so to cool. do and how to do tricks. So I opened up the first stage called the Simple Jump, and uh, <laughs> all right. So this level seems like nothing. It's literally called the Jump, and it's <laughs> 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 laughing ahead of time because I knew what I was going to happen. Up on what I'm about to be dealing with here. <laughs> anyway, throughout the session, I learned about getting past chucks, getting past reverse chucks, how to deal with lava plants, what oh, slow and fast fall is, balancing on disco the shells, learning precise process. swimming mechanics, grabbing and jumping on this block thing at the same time. It's weird. Shell jumps. I don't remember that. You know. I don't remember. The basics. I don't remember that I'm happening. suddenly That's getting awesome. more familiar with the moves and learning everything. And I'll be honest, <laughs> I was starting to feel pretty good. She you was know, killing kinda it. You know, kind of getting the hang of it now. She bit was of killing a confidence it, for real. Boost. And then I hit the test stages where all the mechanics you learned are packed into, like, it's an Mario actual time. level. Mario time. You ready? Test one wasn't too bad. It you looks ready? like this and ended up taking me around 20 minutes to beat but test two was the one those that are tough got levels me. it's a short fast-paced level with no checkpoints but uh, between the really difficult button Dude, this input one, to do the block this grab one was jumping crazy. straight into a shell jump and then land on that tiny dino man heck. onto yoshi i was my arms yes. were sweating the last the thing yoshi. you gotta do is ditch yoshi and win but since i bought my the head or missed the jump so many times you can you can see the trauma behind this hesitation here but i ended up getting she it died after there a an lot. hour and a half of not attempts. gonna lie after all that ryu says he thinks i'm ready for the real deal sends over the rom he recommended and here's my experience trying to beat my first mario kaizo don't hack, sue us nintendo Super real world yes this is how the game starts out yes <laughs> You're doing great. That's fair. <laughs> so, level one. I'll be honest, pretty straightforward. Jump on a few guys, do some more jumps, choke right in front of the checkpoint. No. Oh. But eventually I was able to beat it, and I'll admit, I was pretty stoked. I oh, really, oh. really, really like the animations. Oh, oh. Yes. I was worried I wouldn't even be able That's to so pass awesome. the first level, and I actually just couldn't make this video because I was too bad. But knowing I could beat at least one, yeah, meant more to me than it should. And the show goes on. Level Old two Jade is Mario ramping up. You run through and dodge various swamps and stuff to hit a P switch, then run back through everything in reverse so you can get into the pipe that was previously unreachable. After many attempts and this, 
Yo, that shit ain't easy, by the way. No, let me in. <laughs> I managed to slip that my way into the pipe too. where I met these two. Oh god, it's Hector guys. and Cora. I was really caught off guard by cats <laughs> in Mario game. So caught off guard, in fact, that I just ran into them and died. <laughs> Checkpoint. Checkpoint. What? What is that? <laughs> she oh. Yelled. oh. I beat the stage quickly after, so let's not. The cat kicked the other Come on. cat. Next was this really cool so escort good. stage where you nab this Galuma so at the very start and use him to progress through the stage. Oh, it was God. difficult, but I had a really fun time with this one, and the atmosphere was really cool. Man, this but is great. But I guess great. I was having too much fun great. because I let my guard down and got real humbled. No. Welcome to Kaizo. <laughs> also, the first time I got PTSD to that part, that I thought first the Galuma course. would turn around and come back but he didn't, so I just watched him walk off the edge and strand me. <laughs> anyway, I had a hunch the checkpoint was right after that pipe, so I knew that if I just got that jump right, I could start making more progress. And after like 30 minutes of trying to get back in there, I finally did. On the bright side, I, know it's gonna I happen. was completely right about Spoiler the checkpoint alert. being there. I did not, however, calculate this. So. <gasps> I did it. Oh, <gasps> you did it. Oh God. Please, checkpoint. Oh no! God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, that Mario, was a good one. Why you gotta I be so couldn't cruel? even get mad. And it's even more funny when after you get the checkpoint, they'll spawn you right above that pipe continuously. So whenever you start again, you gotta immediately hold hard right. Oh, I know all, ab so I know yeah, all about that. I eventually that. ended up beating the stage. Now let I never me tell you about the right fourth either. level. Moles. It was a lot of tricky maneuvers that this didn't leave hard. much room for error. Also, I and thought the was beginning was a funny. speed run killer. Big speedrun okay. killer. Trying to jump on these slippery little freaks was a bit rough. This was hard. Accurate. This was hard. This was hard. I did this also part Also accurate. Wrong. I think I needed him. This guy suicided. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> oh. And then it just got worse. The second part of the stage turned into a build a bridge. Oh my god, the mole mission. animations I'll are save you awesome. I'll all the pain and agony and just save this level. That's so good. Especially the second half. Gave me the most hell compared to the upcoming levels for a while. <laughs> Even more hell than the level called Jank Heaven. I don't really want to cover every single thing Jank that Heaven. happened in every oh, single my level. Goodness. But I can give you a little taste of what Jank Heaven was like real quick. This one is, as uh, the <laughs> name Mario's implies, right. quite jank. No, shoot. <laughs> uh, that's a jump that's just hard. I think everything I do here is impressive. Just some benchmark, yes. Denied. Somebody is impressed somewhere. <laughs> this much we know. Oh. I'm glad you, like, had the awareness, dude. That's like, holy sh**. Oh, 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 she almost got that. Was that first attempt? That would have been clutch. Shoot. This is the last jump. She gonna get it? <laughs> So I'm progressing a good amount into the game at this point, but then I get to a ghost house called the waiting room. Overall, it was a pretty difficult all-in-one go level with oh no gosh. checkpoint. But I the one it. part that just kept tripping me up throughout the entire stage was this part where you jump onto this wiggler, balance on him until that wall goes back up, jump off, and then whatever, do bomb stuff. I just couldn't do the wiggler part consistently at all. <laughs> Either I would mistime the jump and pathetically hop off the edge. I'm like picturing this, the Charlie Day meme. With, this, the, with the wall of uh, this. schematics and mathematics. One. I would say probably 80% of my deaths happened on that part specifically. And it technically isn't even the hard part of the level. I really don't think that part was even meant to be that hard at all. But an hour and 30 minutes of doing the same mistakes over and over, just trying my best, I realized there was a much easier and smoother way to do that entire part. And I literally wasted all that time making the whole thing way yep. more difficult than it needed to be. That is Mario. That is Mario, my friends. Oh, nice. It's like That's I was so doing that easier. wrong all along. Yeah. Damn it, Mario. Oh my god. I can't believe I've been dying to that wiggler that way this whole time. <laughs> and I could just do that. It's probably what's intended as well. You're probably right. Yeah. I mean, once I learned that, I beat the stage 20 minutes later. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. Am I upset? No, not really. I'm an animator that works in Adobe Animate slash Flash. I'm used to throwing away multiple hours of work into the trash. By the way, this I happens feel you right there. the goal. <gasps> ah, okay. Dup, 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 dup. Be cool, be cool, be cool. Oh, the fishing boo. You 
Joker. I will. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. That was a naughty word. Damn, that fucker got Joker. her. The stages are Messed getting up. much more difficult at this point. There's only four worlds in the game, each containing around three or four levels, which going into wow. it, I didn't know. Hold on, I, I thought there go back. was going to be a full getting. I want to go back. I worlds in the game, each can. Wow, that's actually an accurate drawing of the the game. Around three or four that's levels, so awesome. which going into it, wow. I didn't know. That's such a cool little detail. I thought there was going to be a full eight worlds, and I was starting to sweat in world that's three. So freaking but, cool. Yeah, Ryu ended up telling me I was in the home stretch, and I popped off so hard. I just thought I was bad this whole time. Uncontrollable After a few more dabbing. Levels, pain, agony. I made it to the last <laughs> world, and oh my god, world four, stage one was the worst thing this game ever ended up throwing at me. I don't oh, even know how to go into thing. detail Get rid of the bar. with all the Get rid tricks of that bar. and moves you need to go. do in this stage. But I spent four hours this level's on it. Insane. An hour and 40 minutes on the first half and two hours, this 20 like, minutes on the second. The game I know is Mr. no Beast longer and other content a like beginner that game at this point. changed people's perceptions on how much is a lot of time in terms of YouTube content. Four hours is nothing compared to, I don't... 24 hours touching a worm, but I sat there making mistake after mistake, learning and adapting and still failing for four hours straight. It was starting to like get to me, <laughs> like personally. Eventually, every time I would mess up, I would feel it in my insecurities. Loud bones. Ah! I have no confidence in my own judgment to make important core decisions, but I did it again four <laughs> hours later. Maybe you don't think that's a long time, but I was wallowing in my own personal hell. Honestly, there for a like while. So knowing most new that players was the either wouldn't be able to beat that level or it would take world, them much longer than four hours. I was suddenly very afraid of this game and what it'll do to me. But surprisingly, the other two levels weren't nearly as bad as the first this one. This is where I, I was impressed. Finishing stage where two she, like, truly impressed. I was already and impressed. Stage three in third minutes that was the the, the ego boost these are hard-ass levels and she beat those again. two I'll fast tell you that. stage three boosts my confidence 30 minutes and stage on one, one keeps me humble fair and balanced life humble if you confidence. Ask me. then i realized i was about to enter the last level dude i'll be honest i was mad proud of myself i went from not even knowing if i could build one enough level skill left to beat one level, one level left man to getting ready to go into the final level of the entire game Ryu Buff hopped doggy into a call with me to hey, be that's there me. for the finale which basically meant he sits there for an indefinite amount of time watching me fail over and over on mechanics he's already mastered. <laughs> like, like watching a toddler struggle to fit the circle block in the square hole. In good old Mario Kaizo fashion, the level starts out with... I'm gonna miss this when I come out victorious. Or just perish on the spot, either way. So I started chipping away at the level, jump on these guys, balance on spiky, do this, do that. I was a little bit nervous because Ryu was watching and I, I wanted to show him how much I've gotten better at Kaizo. You know, awesome. like a teacher this finally so being good. able to see their student face their this final so fight good. to the death battle. This is exactly what it was like. Well, like, not just some school teacher, like a... A cool samurai oh teacher. Oh my something. god, look at that. I messed it up. Anyway, I was trying to <laughs> so impress cool. him, and then I just went and did this, <laughs> and this, and this. <laughs> but he seemed proud of me anyway for just being able to get this far. I was making some good progress on the level. I was about to get to the final checkpoint, but, you know. Right. No, oh. I knew it. <laughs> Damn, I remember exactly. that. That Even was though devastating. it was a really hard level, it was still surprisingly a lot of fun. And not nearly as bad as 4-1. I keep bringing it up, but I, you know, it really got to me. But like that, maybe a bit less than three hours later, I got to the final room. It's oh boss my gosh. fight time. For a final so boss good. in a Kaizo hack, the fight was actually pretty chill. Not easy, but you chill. These on and off switches control the room going up and down, and you gotta get the floor low enough to grab these little blue blocks to throw at the giant King Boo or whatever he's called in this game but don't let it the get too low because sick. then you can die to the lava right beneath there so you're trying to keep all these things in mind but to add to the pile these little <laughs> flying boogers meander around the bastards, stage while you man. gotta dodge them and yes they're guys. rng based they're random you can't just memorize their completely booger pattern agree and be with the jade in here those little whoa, okay. bastards. Okay, the smart way to go about this boss Kill is to your stay speed in the run. middle and calculate On the final boss to go to the side and boss. the switches but I was being stubborn and trying to brute force my own way to do it. 
What a little booger. I think I lost a <laughs> deathless <laughs> run yeah. to one of those boogers. He punishes you for standing on the edges, you know? I'm going to stand on this edge. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't give a shit. I'm doing it anyways. In the lava and then crushed. And then, oh, this edge has oh, his life. Oh, okay. Wonderful. I'm going to stand on this other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just laughing um, maniacally in the background. Is, actually, Except fantastic. Come out of the wall and kill you. But it's pretty like. <laughs> I'm gonna die on this hill. <laughs> I didn't know how many times so you have to awesome. hit Boo. Mario rules always default to three, but it's Kaizo, so it could also very much be a thousand. They know. No. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh! <laughs> <That drop. laughs> okay. So now I know you have to hit him, like, I assume five times. Oh. I'm not gonna spoil how many times you have to hit him. Yeah, so I hit him three <laughs> times and didn't win. So I was like, all right, must be a thousand. But then a few attempts later, this happened. Oh, there it snap. is. Oh, so snap, I, Mario. I did get him three times. Good job. You did, you did it. Died. too quickly. Isn't that awesome? It was three. I just died too soon after that third shot, and it didn't count, which I'm going to choose to ignore. <laughs> I did it. I learned Kaizo, and I beat Kaizo. And it only took 17 hours, not including training. Not Are there bad. much more difficult hacks not out there? Not bad at all. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Quite good, Some actually. Some of them look so disgusting, hey, I don't even want to be in the vicinity of their aura. <laughs> but I was able to challenge myself and beat one that was really well suited for my skill set going in. Level and up. looking back at some of the things I was able to end up pulling off makes me feel very cool. Look at his stuff. I did that. This it's level's cool. insane. Come on. I want That's a really hard level. Credit and applause, please. I think my favorite thing about Kaizo is how easy it is to visualize the progression of your skill within every single level. Like, World 3, Stage 3 starts off with a really difficult maneuver that I got hung up on for a while. And then suddenly I'm nailing it almost every single time. You can really feel and see yourself grow within Kaizo. And I don't think you can say that about a lot of things. A shell jump Does that animation. Mean I recommend you so try awesome. It? Absolutely not. If you get impatient and frustrated easily and are also bad at video games, don't even think about it. Huh, but hey, story. if you think it looks interesting and you can stay calm under extreme circumstances and have around 17 hours to kill, I can't recommend it enough. I liked it. Thanks to Ryu for helping me out and being extremely nice and training Thank you. me and giving me a great it ROM and literally just my sitting there watching me privilege. struggle for many hours. Go check out his channel. He's very hey, entertaining. That's me. I've been watching oh him for years gosh. now. Oh my gosh. Thank and you, Jaden. Yeah, that's it. I'm officially very good at oh video man, games. Oh man, that is and way I've too much. Documented proof. Certified gamer. Again, if you haven't gotten your tickets, Scribble Showdown is back on tour. All right, well, definitely go see Scribble Showdown, first and foremost. Secondly, like, this video was absolutely incredible. It was better than I thought it would be, and I already I knew it would be amazing. Um, the animations, the message, the Kaizo experience, the humor, the everything was 100% on point. I cannot thank Jaden enough for, like, including me on this, for consulting me, for putting me in the video, for putting my stuff out there like uh, that's so crazy like so much love to Jaden for doing that seriously cannot thank her enough uh one of, one of the things that really stuck out was at the end she was talking about you get to see yourself grow and all that stuff and that's it's so cool that she touched on that because with Kaizo Mario it's a very very much like that you start a level and like you can't even do the first jump but then by the end of it you're crushing this entire level it's like a musical you're just bobbing and weaving in and out dodging hazards left and right but it is very inspiring and i was i was inspired right away watching her like as soon as she started even the kaizo hack um she talks about you know the struggle and obviously it was a struggle to beat the game but um she was doing so well from the get-go so much better than a typical beginner would do and she was determined and she just kept showing more and more uh, strength and potential the, the more she went on. She was literally ripping through the game. Um, I was talking to her on Discord and I was like, so how's it going? She was like, oh, I've beaten like five more levels. I was like, I was worried that the end would be too much. It, you know, it gets really hard at the end, but she like persevered, crushed it. And it was just so awesome to see.
So once again, thank you so much, Jaden. So much, so much, so much freaking love for what you do and uh, what you've done for me here today. Um, I also got the world record in Super Ryu World. Once she started playing and beat this game, I got super inspired, so I started speed running the game. Um, so if you want to see that video, I'll put it in the card in the end screen. If you haven't seen, well, we just watched this video together, so. If you haven't checked out Jade, and if you're not subscribed to her, please go subscribe to her now. You will not regret it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Hit that thumbs up, baby, and subscribe if you're not subscribed.